to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a little what's in my bag. It is so hot in Irvine right now. It feels like summer for sure. If you followed me on Instagram or on my channel for a while, you know how much I love these tote bags. I have a ton of tote bags that I rotate and wear. This tote bag is from Sporty and Rich. The brand has a lot of simple, cute pieces. I especially like their crew neck sweaters, their t-shirts, and their accessories. They have a lot of cute tote bags. First item in my bag is one of my most prized possessions. It is my film camera. I carry this around with me almost every day. I will take photos of friends or pretty things I see on the way to wherever I'm going. I am almost done with this roll and I'm super excited to develop it because it has a little bit of Hawaii. It has a little bit of Big Bear, which is the latest trip I took. And there are, what else is in here? I don't remember. There are a lot of different things. It's like a mix of a lot of the things I've been doing lately, so I can't wait to see what's inside. I should have, this is the film canister. So once this is done, I'll put it in here and drop it off at my favorite film stores. It is called Pro Photo Connection. I will leave the address down below if you want to check it out. The stuff you can buy there are so affordable. They even do rentals for equipment. And John, the person I talk to when I go to get my film developed, is super nice. The next item I'm going to show you is my AirPods. I got this silicone case from Karosuke in Korea. I was just walking on the street and they were selling really cute AirPod cases. I have a couple of masks in here. My friends gave me these masks from Korea and they are super sturdy, so I keep them in my bag in case I lose or break the one I'm currently wearing. So, next item, just some tissues. <laughs> you never know. The next item is my wallet, which also has my keys on it. <laughs> it has my house keys, my mailbox key, and my car key. And this wallet is from Ghani. It is so cute. It's navy blue with white dots on it. I am not a big fan of huge wallets and I usually buy wallets that are very thin and small and easy to carry. I usually don't use big wallets. So you'll probably see me using card wallets or keychain wallets like this. The next thing is, I need it right now. So where is it? This is a hair scrunchie from the brand Ghani, the same brand as my wallet. I have a lot of scrunchies that look like this in different colors. I have a couple of items from this brand and they have a lot of very colorful prints and colors in their designs, but I usually go for the ones that are <laughs> more simple and it's cute to just keep on your wrist and also it's cute in your hair so i thought it was a good purchase i really need to tie my hair right now it's so hot right now if i turn on the ac i was afraid it would be too loud so i just tied my hair it's cute my hair grew so much about a year and two months ago i cut my hair this short it was barely touching my shoulders. It was up here. It grew so much now. <laughs> my sunglasses. This is from Gentle Monster. I bought it when I was in Korea. So it's been two years since I bought this, I think. This one is called Key West. So I think this is one of their most basic ones. It's really simple and chic. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it's really heavy and I have a very low nose bridge so <laughs> it makes really huge dents on my nose. Also it's very close to my eyes because of my low nose bridge but it's pretty. <laughs> the next item in my bag is, <laughs> don't make fun of me <laughs> for this. I have red ginseng 
drink in my bag. <laughs> this is supposed to give you more energy. It's healthy for your body. I'm the type of person that will eat or drink things that are supposed to be healthy for you, even if it tastes bad. If someone's like, this is really good for you, you know, it makes your hair healthy or your nails healthy, or it helps you digest your food better, I'm like, give it to me, I'll drink it. <laughs> Next, I have, I have a Care Touch pre-moistened lens and screen cleaning wipes. And they're single use, so they kind of tear apart like that. I think we ordered a whole box of it on Amazon. And they're really nice because you just, you take one packet, open it, and it's wet enough that you could probably clean your phone and your iPad or your computer monitor before you throw it away. So I carry a couple with me in case I place my phone on a dirty surface for a long time or I wanna talk on the phone, but I don't remember the last time I cleaned the screen. Take it out, clean it, and put it to my face. There. Only three more things left, but one of them is my pouch, which has a million things in it, so I'll try to move quickly. The next one is my iPad. It's actually not my iPad. My husband bought it for himself, but I stole it from him because I needed it for the drawing app. My iPad serves two main purposes. The first one is the drawing app. So I'll usually make my thumbnails for my videos on this app. It's called Procreate or create different drawings and graphics on it. I'll write you a secret message. Hello. I use an iPhone 12 Pro. I just have a clear case on it and in the back, I put in a couple photos that I took at the photo booth at the Source OC in Buena Park. They have little sticker, these are not sticker photos. They have little photo booths inside one of their cafes and whenever we go there together, we take these photos. The last thing in my bag is my pouch. I will try to go through it as quick as I can. There are a lot of things in this pouch. This pouch is from Patagonia in Hawaii. When we went there recently in April, we visited their Patagonia store because we knew that they had special items that they only sell in Hawaii and those items say Pataloha, it's cute. So I bought a pouch for myself and one of my best friends. So she has a matching pouch with me. First things first, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay, first things first, I cannot live without floss. Oh my God. If you're eating something and you get something stuck in your teeth, no problem. This thing's got your back. I have four different lip products that I carry. Sometimes if I'm going to the store or just grocery shopping, I'll take one or none, but this is like the full pouch version. The first one is the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. And this is in the shade Rosewood, number 12. The next one is just a lip moisturizer. It doesn't have any color. This is for my, when my lips are really dry. This lip moisturizer is the Neutrogena SPF 15 lip balm. The next one is a lip pencil. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. It's really pretty. The downside to this is that you have to sharpen it. The next lip product is a lip gloss that I got for my birthday. Sorry, I had to change out the memory card because it was full. It is the Giorgio Armani Ecstasy Lip Gloss. It says the number is 500. It has a little bit of glitter in it and it smells really good. The two travel size perfumes I carry around with me are Elizabeth and James Nirvana. This smells really good. And Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I think they're both available on the Sephora website. I have a little mirror that I got from my mother-in-law. I think it's from Japan. And I have combination skin, so I have an oily T-zone and then it's dry everywhere else. 
So I carry around this oil control paper. It's from Innisfree. It is my favorite skincare brand of all time. It's affordable. They're natural ingredients. They have products for different skin types. I love it. Blotting powder from Fenty Beauty. I rarely touch up throughout the day, but if I'm going somewhere for a long time or somewhere far away, I'll take this with me. And it's very convenient because you have the mirror, the compact right here, and then it has a magnetic strip here that helps the brush to attach. The next thing I have in here is my hand lotion. It's almost all gone. It's the Fresh Honeysuckle Moisturizing Hand Cream. And the last thing is a pen. You never know when you'll need this. That's everything in my bag. There's so much stuff, but nothing too special, just normal everyday things that I use all the time. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my coffee and make lunch. I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bag video. I will try to link and list some of the things I've mentioned today down below in my description box. So check it out if you're interested in any of the things I showed you. I also have a couple of fun things planned for the summer. I am going on summer break very soon. I think we have about two weeks left of school. During summer break, I am going on a very long trip so I'm excited for that. Which reminds me, I don't know how I will be able to edit while I'm on my trip. So I'm just telling you now that I might have to take a little break off of YouTube, but I will get footage from my trip and come back home and edit those and post them here. If you want to follow my everyday journey, then just hop on Instagram and follow me at J-E-N-N-Y-E-O-H. My husband and I have been thinking about a subscriber event for you guys. I know I don't have a huge channel or anything, but I am very, very grateful for the people that do follow my journey. And I want to do something special. And I thought and thought and thought about it. And I think I've come to a decision on what kind of event I want to do, like a giveaway. So stay tuned for that because I am making that right now. That is all I have for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video and if you liked it, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. That would mean so much. Bye. <laughs>